I wake up, well I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man, man, man. Was that too Scottish? Did I say man? Be the man? No, no, I can't say that. No, no, be the man. Now that's too, that's too much. That's, that's too much Americanism. But be the man? No, I need to sound like me. Me? I don't say me, and I'm not from. I'm not from Minnesota, or is that Chicago? I don't. I don't know where it's from. It's north. I'm just not from there. Wherever that is. And be the man who wakes up next to you when I go out. Out. I swear that sounded too Scottish. No, I'm not. Out. It's out. Somebody has dropped something on my toe, and there's a T at the end of it. Out. When I go out. Now I feel like I'm emphasizing the out too much. I'm thinking so hard about this. If I get drunk, then I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a man who gets drunk next to you. And if I hate, hate, heva? He, heva? When I'm, he, when I'm, hate, haver? Heva? Haver? He, heva? Have a, have a, what is that word? Heaver? Is that how it, is that how everybody pronounces it? What does that word even mean? It, it, hey, it, it, it just sounds like nonsense. It just sounds like nonsense. Like, like it means nonsense or babbling. That is what it means. It literally means to talk foolishly or babble. But I still don't know how to pronounce it. How does how does how does Google say to pronounce it? Haver. Haver. Heva. Haver. It's Scottish in origin, but when you pronounce it like that, it really does sound too American. When I haver, that just sounds weird. Haver. Here, I can maybe I can do a little liberty with that. When I haver, 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 haver. When I haver, no, I am not super southern. When I haver, you know what? That's just gonna have to do. When I haver, well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who's havering to you. It just sounds weird when we sing it. But I would walk. I know I pronounced miles correctly, but why did they even say miles in the original song? They, they're Scottish. Wouldn't they say I'd walk 500 kilometers or 500 kilos? No, because kilos is weight, isn't it? I, I don't know. Why didn't America just run on the metric system like everybody else did? That's not even related to the song. I emphasized thousands so much because I was trying so hard not to say thousand. Why is it so difficult for me? When I'm walking, well I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a man who's walking hard for you. And the man, and then for the work I do, I I hope I I, what, what are they saying there? Why am I assuming that I already know all the words? With pronunciation like that, why did I feel like I already knew the words? If I were trying to sing this in a Scottish accent, which would be phony, then I could probably babble through that, and everybody who's American would think that that was right. But I can't do that. I just can't be a phony. I'm working. He says working instead of walking? I even got that wrong. When I'm working, well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a man who's walking off for you. Wait, I didn't even look at the lyrics that I messed up. Besides working, the ones after that. I was so confused with working. Ah! When the money comes in for the work I do, I'll pass almost every penny on to you. Well, that's nice. So they would say, when the money comes in for the work I do, I'll pass almost. That that's definitely did not sound good. And when the money comes in for the work I do, I'll pass almost every this. Why am I choosing to cover this song anyway? Because yeah, people like it, and if I play it, and people hear it, and they like it, then people will like me. Because nobody wants to hear my original stuff. It's almost every penny on to you. Do they have pennies in Scotland? Does that make any sense? I mean, the miles and the kilometers and now pennies and... You know, I don't have time to look up all this stuff. Pennies. Oh, they, they're, oh, they use pounds, I see. Well, I suppose they... Okay, so they have some sort of equivalent of a penny, so I guess that works. I just looked up Scottish currency! What is this song doing to me? When the money comes in for the work I do, I'll pass almost every penny on to you. Gotta keep a little bit for myself, of course. When I come home, when I come home... No, there's only one of me. I am the only one proclaiming here. It's gotta just be when I come home. 
No extra voice. Da -da -da -da. sound is fun without the second person. I can't commit to not having a second person that is me and then put the second person in later. Okay, now it just sounds funny. I need to take out the second person. It's still weird, but I think I can get used to it. I am getting so insecure with this. This is rattling my brain. Is anybody really gonna care if I accidentally go Scottish when I sing this when I'm not actually Scottish? Because I feel like they will. I need to be my own artist. I need to be unique. If I'm just going out there and doing a Proclaimers impression, I am not unique. And when I'm dreaming, well, I know I'm gonna dream. I'm gonna dream about the times when... Time that sounded really Scottish! I think. I don't know. I don't know what sound is anymore. When I go, when I go, I will I... I get the second person again! When I come home, no second person, no one. And now I'm psyching myself out because of the second person. When I come home, It's C sharp minor! Why do they throw that extra chord in there? I mean, it sounds good, but for the sake of my brain getting this right, and after thinking about the Scottish accent, this is just frying me, and it really shouldn't be. I'm gonna be a man who comes back home with you. I'm gonna be a man who's come home to you. I feel like in an attempt to go Brit, Scottish, or not Scottish, but American, maybe there's a British in the middle that I'm hitting instead. I don't know. Whoa!